Hello everyone, this is your subject community engagement, solidarity, and citizenship. This is a specialized subject for humanities and social sciences in your high school students. So our lesson for today is about importance of understanding community dynamics and community action. We need to discuss community first because this is the main idea of this subject. So ano ba ang pagkakaiba ng community dynamics and community action? So in a community, we have a lot of different people. A community consists of different personalities, careers, and many more. So you, you can say that a specific place is a community without the diversity of people. Okay? Dapat ang community ay binubuo ng iba't ibang mga tao na gumagawa ng iba't ibang mga career or profession. Because in a community, you need to have um, solidarity para maging mas matatag ang inyong community. So, sa community, may matanda, may bata, may babae, may lalaki, may teacher, may nurse, may doctor, and many more. That's a community. A community is a socially operative whole, a body of people bound to a common social structure which function as a specific entity and which is unique from each other. So as I have said a while ago, a community is a body of people, mga binubuo ng madaming tao na magkakaiba ang ginagawa. Kailangan magkakaiba ang ginagawa dahil kailangan nilang gawin ang iba't ibang kampanin or gawain sa community. Paano kapag ang community ay puro teacher lang, di ba? Walang doktor, walang nurse, walang farmer. So, hindi isang matatag na community ang group of teachers. The fact that they live in the same norms and within the same social organization, they have the sense of belongingness. Because um, we do different things. Meron tayong sense of responsibility. With that sense of responsibility, nagkakaroon tayo ng sense of belongingness. Dahil meron tayong nayaambag sa community natin, nagkakaroon tayo ng sense of belongingness. Paano kapag ang isang tao ay walang inaambag sa community? So wala siyang nafe-feel na sense of belongingness dahil wala siyang naiko-contribute sa community. What is community dynamic? A natural phenomenon because community changes and develops. So, dynamic is yung pag-iiba. Ang meaning ng dynamic is yung from transition to something to something. So, it is the changes and development of a community. The people living in a community stimulate growth, improvement, or modification within a system or process. So, sa community, hindi stagnant ang mga tao or hindi the same lang. From 1960s to 2000, the same lang bang mga tao doon? Hindi, di ba? Nag-iiba. Yung mga bata, nagiging teacher, nagiging nurse, nagiging doctors, yung mga matatanda, uh, namamatay. <laughs> yung mga maliliit na bahay, lumalaki, yung mga simple businesses, nagiging well-established businesses, yung mga rough roads, nagiging concrete roads na. So, kasama yan sa community dynamic, ang pag-iiba ng komunidad. Nag-grow tayo, meron din namang community na nasisira. A community that is dynamic shows progress and growth. But we must take note that communities have problems and the people within the community are affected. It is through voluntary acts and community participation that people can help each other. So a community is a dynamic if it shows progress and growth. So hindi natin matatawag na dynamic 
kapag pa pasira ang isang community. So sa community, dahil meron tayo mga careers as individuals, we contribute to the community, right? And uh, hindi natin may iwasan na magkaroon ng problema ang mga community. Mga halimbawang problema ay pwedeng natural disasters, pwedeng man-made problems, mga ganon. And because of those problems, the people in that community are affected. For example, the the nationwide problem right now or the worldwide problem right now is the COVID pandemic. So that affects different communities in different ways. And because of that problem, there are solutions given by group of people in those communities. Magkakaiba din ang approach ng mga tao dun. Some are implementing use of face shields, some are implementing use of double face masks, some are implementing vaccination card before entering specific establishments and many more. So those are the solutions of specific communities in solving the problem of COVID-19. But generally, worldwide, we hope to solve the problem of COVID-19 by rolling out vaccinations, right? So, gana. Ang community ay hindi perfect. Hindi siya palaging grow, progress, and many more. Meron at meron problemang pumupunta sa community. Another simple problem of a community is uh, sa parangay namin, dogs. So, yung mga dogs doon, hindi sila nakatali. So, that is the problem of our community. So, the barangay Um, gave an ordinance about asuko italico parang ganon. So with the problem, we have a solution. So that's part of community. It is through voluntary acts and community participation that people can help each other. So hindi masusod ang isang problema kapag hindi ko malaw ang mga tao sa community. That's why there are volunteer um, citizens who do or who solves the problem. So what is community action? An activity that motivates people to help other people because of the understanding to be engaged and that is empowered through the delivery and partnership of local services. So ang community action, di ba merong problema? What will the community do? That is the community action. They motivate the people in that community to solve the problem. Dahil kapag walang ginagawa ang mga people sa community na yun, hindi mag-grow ang community. Walang community dynamic. It can be described as social action or community engagement. So ang community action is community engagement. Your career is a very important aspect of the development of your community. It is where you spend your life working to help others and the community you are in. It is very necessary for a person to seriously choose a career that is suitable for his skills and talents to face the responsibilities given to him. So ang ating mga piniling career ay napaka-importante sa ating community. Kasi kapag magkakapareho na ang career sa isang community, magkakaroon ng problemang um, malaki because of the lack of diversity of the people. Di ba? So sinabi ko kanina, kailangan diverse ang career ng mga tao sa isang community para magampanan natin ang ating mga social responsibilities. Ako, as isang teacher, kailangan ko magturo. Ang isang sundalo, kailangan niyang bantayan ang peace and order or ang police. Ang isang farmer, kailangan niyang magtanim para merong may produce na pagkain. So, the chosen career is a very important aspect of the development of our community because it's directly related to the social belongingness and to the 
community dynamic part para maggrow ang ating community. So here, mahalaga ang bawat career sa isang komunidad. Walang mas mataas, walang mas mababa na career dahil lahat ng mga trabaho at career na ginagawa ng bawat tao ay nakaka-contribute sa paglago and pag-improve ng community.